All right, thank you, Christine. All right, depending on if you're owed or you owe, this might be one of the most dreaded days of the year, tax day. Uh, those taxes must be filed by midnight tonight. News Channel 5's Josh Boos joins us live from the police office this morning. Excuse me, the post office this morning. <laughs> <A> <laughs> That's place, right. <laughs> a place that is bustling this time of year. Uh, Josh, tell us what's going on there. Anybody uh, yeah. driving through? If you don't pay your taxes, the police will come for you, Macy. Just to you know, make the connection here. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm at the uh, I'm at the post office here, and uh, this is just one of the places. You know, it seems like a couple years ago, even I remember doing stories on it. Places like this were bustling all day. Not much going on now. I mean, granted, it's early, but typically, traditionally, we see people in and out of here all day on tax day. But now the IRS says a hundred million people file electronically. They e-file. They do it over the internet. That's been the case for the last several years. There will be those in post offices uh, open to uh, later than they usually are if you do plan to mail uh, your taxes in today. Remember, midnight is that deadline. Here's a few of them for you right here. Cleveland's main post office, that's where I am now. Downtown here on Orange Avenue will stay open until 10 tonight. They open at 7. And Akron's main post office will stay open until 7 tonight. For everyone else, it's regular business hours. Now, tax preparers at a Liberty Tax Service that we talked to in Cleveland, they are working hard. They say there are a lot of procrastinators out there which kept them busy all day yesterday and likely all day today. People either run in and get their returns really early or they wait till the last minute. And we have a lot of people who are waiting till the last minute. We are able to file extensions for people who have waited and don't have the material that they need in order to file. We are able to um, help them contact the IRS and get those wage statements. We can make a good estimate of what they're going to owe. Yeah, that extension, though, will also cost you interest. I mean, obviously, you're going to have more time to file, but in the end, you'll have to pay a little bit more. So whichever way you file today, whether it be uh, online through e-filing or dropping off your taxes here at the post office, oh, office to get them postmarked by the midnight deadline, uh, make sure you do that today. Back into you. All right, Josh, so today is April 17th. Tax day is usually on the 15th, but it, the 15th yeah. fell on a Sunday and yesterday was a holiday in D.C. So is that affecting yeah. how people are filing? Well, you know, for the most, obviously it gave people two extra days. That's the good news in all this. But just talking to the woman we, uh, that you just heard from in that piece, uh, she was saying that yesterday was so busy, they're expecting today to be just as busy, if not more. But at this point, they just really don't know because of those uh, two extra days in there, how people really gauge that. No question, the likely, though, she says, uh, be procrastinators coming in late. Hey, either get that money or get that money to Uncle Sam. Thank you so much, Josh. Yeah.